I sell on lock.net. In this video, we will show you how to unlock a BlackBerry Bold 9650. We have a uh, brand new Verizon Bold 9650 here, and we're going to show you how easy it is to unlock the phone. Now, the first thing you need in order to unlock your BlackBerry is you need the unlock code. Each phone has a unique unlock code. You can order your unlock code on our website by going to www.sellunlock.net and the only information we need is the IMEI of the phone. You can find the IMEI of the phone by going to options and then status and you'll see the IMEI displayed here, 15 digit IMEI, that's the number we need. Uh, you're not going to find the IMEI on the box. On the box, what, what says on the box is the MEID which is different. We need the IMEI, which is the 15-digit uh, IMEI. Now, once you place your order on our website, we're going to email you an unlock code, which is unique to your phone. Don't try it on any other phone. It's not going to work. And don't try the code that we're going to enter on this phone, because it will not work. Once we email you the code, this is what you'll need to do. You're going to want to have a SIM card in the phone. Any SIM card is fine. So in this phone now, we have the original uh, Verizon SIM card that shipped with the phone. So it's inside, we'll show you that after. Basically, uh, what you're going to have to do here, it says 3G, so wireless is on. You're going to go to Manage Connections right here. And we're going to turn Connections off. So we're just going to go this and uncheck this option. Press the Back key. And we're going to wait for it to say Off here. Then what you want to do is go to Options and then we're going to scroll to advanced options and then sim card now on this screen here you're going to see it's going to say on top of the phone sim card no valid sim card now you're going to want to type the letters M E P D that's M like mom E like Eric P like Patrick and D like David you're not going to see what you're typing that's normal so we're going to type M E P D nothing happens now if while typing this on your phone no screen pops up then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to you're going to want to type it in uppercase so we're going to try an uppercase we're going to hit the uh, shift key here and type m e p d and now as you can see the personalization screen just came up and network says active that means that this phone is locked once it's going to be unlocked it's going to turn it's going to become inactive or disabled so we see everything else here is disabled the only thing that's active is the network, which means the phone is locked. At this point here, we're going to type MEP Alt 2. So that's M like mom, E like Eric, P like Patrick, Alt and the number 2. So MEP Alt 2. Now the phone asks you for the network MEP code, which is the code that we're going to email you. So the code for this phone, once again, don't try this code in your phone. It's not going to work. So 455. Four, two, two, one, two, and then we're going to press on the trackpad. Code accepted. That means that the phone unlocked, and you can see here that network switched to inactive, which means that the phone is unlocked now. Now, once you do this, you're going to want to do a battery pull. Uh, we're going to stop this video and edit this video because obviously it takes a while for the phone to boot up. But we're just going to show you here now that we did the unlocking with the uh, Verizon SIM card that ships with the phone. And we're going to take the battery out. No, okay, well, in this case, there's no SIM card in the phone. All right, so I guess you can do it without the SIM card also. Uh, usually the 9630 and Storms need a SIM card inside. Uh, I guess we forgot to put the SIM card. That's not... It's not a problem as long as you get the prompt to enter the code. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and put a T-Mobile SIM card in this phone and uh, let it power up and do a test call. And we'll be right back. Back on here with the uh, T-Mobile SIM card in the phone. So now what you're gonna do once you're powered back on with the SIM card that you want to use, you're gonna want to go to Options and then scroll down to Mobile Network, and we're going to leave it. Usually it's going to say global, but what you want to do is you want to put it on GSM, UMTS, and you want to select 2G only. Now we go back to the main screen, 
and we're still on off here so we're going to go to manage connections and we're going to turn mobile network on and we're going to let the phone uh, connect so as we saw it looks like on the 9650 you can do it with or without a sim card if ever you do the unlocking with a sim card when the phone powers up it's going to ask you if you want to enter the code just click no and it's better that you do it through this, the process that we did it uh, sometimes the other way doesn't work so you want to go through the whole instructions options advanced options sim card and remember that each phone has a unique unlock code so don't try this code in your phone it's not going to work and you can you can order your unlock code on our website www.sellonlock.net so we can see here that the phone says T-Mobile it's connected to T-Mobile and we got our edge uppercase we're going to try to make a test call see if this works here customer care sorry if there's any kind of interference mobile for English say English so as you can see the unlock worked and that's it once unlocked your phone is permanently unlocked you're never going to need to, un to enter the unlock code on the phone and here we go this video was brought to you by sellunlock.net and this video we showed you how to unlock a Blackberry Bold 9650 from Verizon to be able to use it with any other uh, GSM carrier and we're going to take the back cover here just before we go take the battery out and show you that we are running we're using a T-Mobile SIM card in an unlocked Verizon phone alright thank you very much for watching have a good day